I'm at the White Castle. I don't see you here, dog. Tiny ass hamburgers, tiny ass cheeseburgers, tiny ass chicken sandwiches. It's outlandish, kid. My trying to speak to the kid in Spanish, kid. Like, que tu quieres? I'm like, where is the bathroom? I hella got a piss. Where's the bathroom? Ask whom the bell tolls for. Hey yo, where you get this place from? The hellhole store? Yo, I'm in the building, building with belding. Ask for whom the bell rings. Super Magic Show Show. My name's Landon. I'm here with my very good friend. What's your name? Obi. How are you, Obi? How I'm good. I miss your <laughs> dulcet tones. This is a brand new season. This is episode one of season three. Um, we're here with our very, very special guest um, that we'll get to later on. Um, she's currently being a uh, cat whisperer, and she's going to teach us some uh, vocab later on, I believe. I don't know. Haven't thought that far ahead. Um, <laughs> but a lot of people ask us this. They say, what is your show about and we don't, we don't it's know. easy well i do know we are wilmington north carolina's number one what what number one rated pilates. health and fitness and pilates <laughs> podcast and that's what we that's what our show is about but what are we individuals about i'll tell you mugsy bogues mugsy bogues if you don't know about mugsy bogues let us educate you mugsy bogues came into the nba in uh 1989 he was five foot three played 15 years uh, largely played for the Horns after, after leaving Duke, averaged seven points per game for 15 years. You know what he persevered from? <laughs> What's that? Naysayers. At five <laughs> foot three, if you want to be in the NBA, you know how many naysayers he got? Probably a lot. 15 years later, a bunch of millions of dollars and then aver- averaging seven points per game. He showed all those naysayers wrong. And that's what this show is about. When did we start? About uh, two seasons ago, roughly a year and a half ago. Yep. And how many listens- listeners did we have? We started out, we had like three. Yeah. And then what happened <laughs> at the end of season two? How many did we, we have? We had like 14, man. No, we didn't. We had six. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. We 14 is how many we ended up with. And now we are up to 12, maybe 13. <laughs> we, lost we started one. off with naysayers just like Muggsy. <laughs> Bogues did and then did now we, lose one? we, lost we one? are dominating just like Muggsy <laughs> Bogues did and this when people ask what we are all about okay or no what is this show about it's about Pilates. Wilmington North Carolina's P- Pilates and but Muggsy what Bogues. are we about Muggsy Bogues. Muggsy Bogues thank you so this <laughs> this whole season is dedicated to the one and only Muggsy Bogues so um it's the holiday time we just finished uh Thanksgiving how's your Thanksgiving my friend it was great was it not really why I mean I worked yeah and then I ate and I fell asleep doesn't sound any different um, than any other (laughs) uh Miss Webster and I were talking about this earlier uh you look like you've been a working man you got the whole November no shave thing going oh yeah and we're talking about how David Grohl is like doing the only right thing that people are doing with beards now because we're downtown <laughs> and there's these what? hipsters and they have like Please cool explain. mustaches explain I can explain. This. there's like like the the hipsters have taken the the denim shirts and the facial hair and taken it downtown and like walked around with it but one thing they forgot they left their dicks at home <laughs> okay and what, what and it, like they're making Beards and mustaches look lame, and they're making like uh, uh, craft beer look lame. And I, I feel like <laughs> it, it takes a certain like real deal man to like bring that back. And I'll tell you who's doing it: Dave you Grohl. and David Grohl. How so? I don't because understand. Because David What's the Grohl, difference? no matter what he's doing in life, he always looks like he just got done chopping wood. <laughs> Agree with me. Okay, I agree with and you, I man. Think I, you're, cool. You're sort of going in that. You have that same kind of steez. <laughs> That's cool, man. It's not really what I was I'm going for. I'm physically attracted to you right now. Is what I'm saying. <laughs> awesome. We Thank can you. talk later. Okay. So, um, you're you're you worked on Thanksgiving. Um, here's why I can I, I. Here's why I can say that my head truly is in the gutter, and this is what happened to me on Thanksgiving. I'm not proud of it, but one thing I like <laughs> about this show is that we have fake names and we don't say who we are, so that we can talk about things open and honestly, right? Absolutely. I want to tell you about the, the why my head is just in in the garbage can. I'm sitting there at Thanksgiving, went to um, a family friend's house, and there's maybe like eight adults and four kids, and we're all gathered around the table, and they have all the food out in plates and platters and stuff, and the dude um, starts like, like he says like a prayer, he says says grace, and everyone's congregated around, and I'm looking at the food, and and he says something that that was very well um, rehearsed, 
Mm -hmm. um, and it was very like heartfelt and meaningful. And then you could tell that he sort of had it rehearsed and he cued it up to where his son, he's like, and son, is there anything else you want to say? And he's like, and the kid's like 10 years old. He's like, I just want to be thankful. And I want everyone to know that um, these moments are very special and moments don't last forever. So let's just be very thankful and appreci appreciative of what we have now. Like that's okay. just warm, very sweet, nice stuff, you know. Yeah, and I should be like on that same sort of mental, spiritual wavelength. And here's why I'm I I I think I I need some psychotherapy or something because the whole time these people are praying and like saying good thoughts. All I'm thinking, I'm looking at the mashed potatoes, and it's like this oh, steaming shit. thing of mashed potatoes. And all I can think is I want to take my <laughs> dick and my balls and submerge them. <laughs> into the mashed potatoes. <laughs> Why? Why? Why do you think? Because <laughs> it's white? No, how dare you? How <laughs> dare you? I'm an open-minded person. I don't care about uh, it. No, no, and this had nothing to do with sexuality at all. Don't, like, are you misconstruing this? I think so. Please explain. Okay, if I was alone with the mashed potatoes, all I'd want to do is eat them. I wouldn't want to molest it like, uh, uh, <laughs> like uh, American Pie style. Been there, done that. I don't care. Oh, the reason <laughs> I want to do this to the mashed potatoes is because I'm in front of everyone else. Oh. And by doing that, I claim them. Oh. All these mashed potatoes will be mine, and no one's going to think about touching them once I've made that imprint. But the problem is, is that if you do that... saying a prayer to the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, you, like, I'm you, going to hell. If you put your balls in your, in your, your dinger danger yeah. in the mashed potatoes, that's all you're going to get is mashed pototoes. They're not going to let you eat anything else. They're going to... Exclude you from the See, family dinner. Uh, first of all, I don't want care. turkey. I don't want just uh, mashed potatoes. Understood, and that's a valid point. But first of all, don't <laughs> care because if I have that whole thing of mashed potatoes to myself, I'm carbo loading <laughs> like enough for the next couple of days. Number two, yeah. um, I think that by doing said act, I establish myself as a dominant male, and I'm going to get that <laughs> turkey if I want it. No one's going to, no one's going to get in my way. They are in line, moving out of the way. They're after running the move away. That I just pulled over. Pulled. Hey, you might be right. I, dude, I am right. As long as you share it with me, I don't care. So that was Thanksgiving. <laughs> <laughs> That's what happened I'm to me. I'm glad you had a fun Thanksgiving. In, in, in my life. Um, if you have any other uh, Thanksgiving stories or anything for that matter, please email us at, uh, what, what is our site? Super Magic <laughs> Sex Show at gmail. No, we changed it. It was Super Magic Show Show, I think. Super at gmail. Magic Show Show. No, here's the show? problem. We, we don't, don't even always know. check it. And w but we have, we have good reason why. We have just cause. One, we have lives. Like, I'm busy thinking about potatoes on Thanksgiving. Obi's busy <laughs> working. We have stuff to do. Just, or, uh, just comment. Just comment. Or maybe we're YouTube not even going to check those comments because we're Probably busy. Not. Or, mm, I just don't want to. Or Obi's taking a nap. Like, I, we have I things going on in this world. So, um, <laughs> nevertheless, shoot us an email. We may or may not <laughs> take it. <laughs> I can't remember the last time we actually checked that. But uh, please I don't know us. the password anymore. You have it. I you think I have it? it? It is connected to to you. <laughs> is that right? I've tried. Okay. Um, <laughs> so um, what you might not know about Obi is um, that not only is he uh, one of my best friends and genuinely like, a, a wonderful person, but he's also just a superpowered genius. And <laughs> you might not notice that in his, like, day-to-day kind of nine-to-five and when we met we we worked together at a day-to-day nine-to-five and we both sat next to each other um but where his genius comes through is he can be calm and collected all day but then at night that's when and you correct me if i'm wrong but that's when the mental circus comes to town and yeah. you can't sleep and you just start writing down stuff i actually don't even remember some of the things i write down it's like another person <laughs> but i'll doing tell it. you how um i remembered them because the next day at work you would just have piles of sticky notes <laughs> that you would send me these ideas and i think one week i asked like well it'd be funny if we talked about porn parodies like a porno yeah. movie that's fake you know like a fictional name and then come up with like a t or like an actual movie parody. yeah thanks for and i forgot about it and then a week later you fired off like a stack of sticky notes with all these <laughs> names on it. Like your brain is on fire <laughs> yeah, all the time. Where does this come from? I don't know. And you ruined my life. With <laughs> <laughs> no, you ruined I literally it. Can't, I didn't do anything. It's, it happens randomly. Like maybe like once every week or so, one night I can't sleep because I have to keep getting up to write down these. I, they won't leave my brain until I write them down. So okay. So you, it's your you, fault. you have the notepad out and we're I here with um, uh, 
Miss Webster of Webster Smart Fuck Thesaurus. And uh, she's our local. Um, when we're in the studios, uh, in our Manhattan studio, she actually runs the, the library and the forensics department. So we're very happy to have her here. <laughs> um, uh, and we're going to, how, how's this going to work? We're going to vote on like porn parodies. We have yeah. a number of them and we're going to vote which one's better until we find the ultimate champion, at least for this episode. Is that correct? Yeah. Okay. Okay. So <laughs> the first one is, uh, I don't know if you've ever seen this movie. It's based off of a bunch of kids who try to go see um, the band Kiss. Um, uh, uh, do, should I tell you? Do you sure, know? if you know it. No, I don't know. All right. Detroit. Detroit Rock City. Detro- Detroit Cock City. Okay, I'll, I got it. I like it. Uh, All right. Okay, versus okay. what? The School of Cock. School of Rock. So yeah. rock and roll and cock was rock on and your roll. brain when yeah, you were writing these. Definitely. Down. Ooh, yeah. Um, I, I like the first cock one. Okay, and the last one is Despicable D. Pass. I no. You don't pick like that one? one? Pick another. Okay. One. Um, the porn identity. Pick another one. No. The uh, black cock down. Not bad. <laughs> oh, okay. So Black Cock Down obviously advances. That gets a pass. That's that a, that's a, a pass. finalist as we speak. I think. Okay, I've got more. I've got uh, keep them coming. How to drain your dragon? What is that even a parody of? <laughs> There's a kids' movie, How to Train Your Dragon. See? Yeah. Um. No. Oh, man, I'm striking out. Wait, wait. Say that. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I meant to say people that have children would would know that uh, it was they, they would know about these pornographic children's movies. Wow, uh, we're learning something new every episode. I, I saw that we learned something new about our, our special airplane. guest today. Um, this is an old one, an old <laughs> horror movie. This is kind of fucked up. Children of the Porn. Yeah. Oh, that's, <laughs> that's no. That wait, that's a keeper. No, I was even I think that's fine. Yeah, that's yeah, you got to lose that. Delete Sorry. and okay. you know what? That's that's on um, your phone. Delete that. I will. What's the? Uh, you know the um, the surfing movie, old school surfing movie. People have posters of it in their in their apartments all the time. Oh yeah. Um, the endless. The, the no, that was the one about the first kids who would like skateboard. The sh- the boys. Of no, 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 no. This is like the endless summer. Don't know. Wait. I know the Jessica Alba one where she's like a shark wrangler. Okay, never mind, never mind. Um, white man can't hump. That's a keeper. I like that. <laughs> you so know that wh- one, what the are, basketball movie? Yeah, with okay. um, uh, Wesley Snipes. Yeah, yeah. And it turns out he could hump because he ends up dunking at the end of the movie. Oh, yeah. Woody Harrelson. Woody Harrelson and Rosie Perez. Yeah. Nice. I had, dude, back then <laughs> I would have given my life not for Rosie Perez. Like she had that like accent. That's why it'd be a good it'd be a good porn, right? Yeah. Okay. Woody All right. Harrelson gonna be on the porn? He has to. His be. name's Woody. Of course <laughs> he's gonna be in the porn. But I don't want to watch it. <laughs> <laughs> no, just a look alike when he was younger. I guess even that's not really much. It better. doesn't really okay, help. So, <laughs> so what are our like top contenders? Um, we, you we, guys, got, we have to find a winner. You guys liked Black Cock Down. Yes. And you liked White Man Can't Hump. Uh huh. And we got racial without even, I mean, almost subconsciously. You liked Detroit Cock City. Yeah, I think that's funny. That one's I good. Don't, I don't think he was for it. I'm mm. not anti, I, you know. So it's basically between White Man Can't Hump and uh, Black Cock Down. Uh, Black Cock Down. Nice. The BBD. <laughs> Always wins. Well, that that is, that's our deciding vote. So, uh, black cock, <laughs> black cock down makes it to the next round, and we're gonna have to. And black cock down is gonna have to duke it out with another uh, uh, top contender next episode. So tune in. Uh, oh, and by the way, if you have any of your own, um, send it to supermagicshow show at gmail.com. or just comment on the YouTube <laughs> channel. Okay, so um, Obi, for those of you listeners who don't know, is um. Half of him is the uh, inferior race. Jesus. <laughs> um, by the, you, you, you're a half African-American. I'm not even half, man. <laughs> yes, you are. No. Am I wrong? You're wrong. I'm a quarter. Oh, okay. Um, well, that gives you better, quarter better inferior. answers. Quarter inferior. Okay. <laughs> no, I, I, and I, I take that back. I have love in my heart for all people. No, we I, joke. I truly, we joke. But what you, one um, uh, part of our humanity that you don't have respect for that I recently learned about you over the holidays was that you are a misogynist 
um, <laughs> you're a pig. <laughs> what? Why? You you have you don't respect modern women. How so? Okay, so he needed he had a button on his or like yeah he had a button on his blazer. This was last Wednesday, and he needed to get it repaired because he was like, I'm gonna wear this blazer on Thanksgiving. Don't even laugh and act like you don't know what I'm talking about. So we go to Walgreens, and he's like, I need a sewing kit. Where did you go? And I and I was like, I'm gonna go like get a orange juice or something. I'll meet you over there, wherever you're orange shopping. Juice. So he's there in looking for a sewing kit in the feminine products aisle. <laughs> Because in your twisted head, you think that that means like only women can sew or fix a button. And meanwhile, you're looking at like a uh, monostat and like tampons and stuff like that. And you're wondering where the needle and thread are. When in reality, if you go to the more manly section where they have like hammers and nails, you're also going to find the sewing stuff. You know, the ah, one with the little mm -hmm. piece of cardboard and the like three different colors on it and a needle in there and like a Spool. tweezer. You assume that that was strictly women's work. <laughs> this is, dude. Th <laughs> this, I don't know. You're you just a man of the 1940s. Apparently so, and apparently I was blackout drunk because I don't remember any of this. By the way, you are unquestionably the best blackout drunk that I've ever <laughs> met. Okay, this is season three, and I think we've maybe like 20 episodes posted, but in reality, we have maybe 25 that have been recorded, but or not been recorded, but that we actually attempted to record that were often lost. And the last one, I don't know if you, well, I know you don't remember it, <laughs> but it was around Halloween time, and you... Uh -huh. I have a feeling that the microphones weren't plugged in, but well, we just weren't. talked weren't for like 40 minutes. They weren't, no. Yeah, but, that was... And then uh, I called you the next day, and you're like, uh, and I was like, well, what did you think of that episode? Have you like edited it at all? Like, have you listened to it? And you're like, which one? I'm like, the, <laughs> the thing we did for like 45 minutes last night. And you're like, what are you talking about? But the thing was, you didn't seem sloppy. Like, mm -hmm. you can... You're like, oh, I was, I was blackout drunk. I'm like, word? Like, you were naming off the capitals of every state. Like, you are smarter. <laughs> when, when you're in a blacked out state, it's unreal. That's terrible. Seriously, call Guinness Book of World Records and do some sort of like, uh, take the ACTs hammered. I guarantee you're going to do better. That'd be interesting. An interesting experiment. Oh, I think it should. I mean, I think that's what you should do. And we'll make that an episode. Okay. Well, sorry for being a chauvinistic pig. I don't, you know. Well, it's true. I mean, that's where you think that the sewing section is in feminine products. I don't even know where my blazer is. I don't know. Whatever. I don't know. <laughs> um, so we do a thing where uh, we have we have an old guest that hasn't been on the show in forever. And uh, God, when was the last time uh, Jabba was on the show? Oh, man. Too long ago. I don't even remember. It's like months ago. And uh, I, we thought he'd be consistent. And he was like, oh, I'm going to be your guys' uh, publicist. Yeah. And was, I, yeah. Like, I think we can make money doing this and blah, blah, blah. And we're like, yeah, cool. Like, do it. Just show up next week and we'll do it. Mm -hmm. And, of course, he hasn't showed up ever since. No, no. He and completely bailed. we just decided that uh, every episode that he doesn't show up, we're going to have a word for him. <laughs> and we're going to educate our listeners. Um if you've even made it this far, which is like two people probably who have actually lasted like 13 <laughs> minutes. Um, so if you're still here, uh, we're going to like learn a new word. And that's why we're very lucky to have um, the lovely uh, Miss Webster, uh, Webster Smart Fuck the Source, who's going to um, give us our, our word of the episode. Do we have music? Do we have our theme music? We do. We do. Okay. Oh, uh, actually, can I preface by saying what, what are some of the previous words for this individual who won't get on the show? Because they're, uh, ba they're basically designed to ridicule. It's, it's, and, he's, and he's been a brumudgeon. A brumudgeon, dispectic, dispectic, farouche, uh, farouche, uh, uh, cantankerous. Cantankerous, definitely. Uh, so far, we've been pretty nice. Okay. We're just sort of really actually describing his personality. That's who he is. Like, at the <laughs> core of who he is in his soul. He's cantankerous. Um, I have these two. Um, Miss, could you, could you help us decipher these words? Sure. There's these two here. Um, okay, it looks like we've got neophyte, yes. um, which is a noun, and it means an amateur, <laughs> one without relevant experience <laughs> or applicable skills for a called upon activity. Life. For, so he Life. has no applicable, <laughs> applicable skills uh, for this show, which is not only about Pilates and um, health and fitness, but also about life in general. So he he is a neophyte in that regard. He you, brings nothing to the table. Jabba, you're a neophyte. Sorry, Jabba. If you come back on the show, you'll no longer be a neophyte. You'll but be a Muggsy this, Bogues. You'll, you'll be, be a Muggsy, Muggsy Bogues. Bogues. That's right. <laughs> until then, we're just going to be naysayers, keeping Muggsy down, or people like you. Okay, whatever. Um, we have another <laughs> one. Okay, the second word is brewer's droop. 
um, <laughs> which is another noun, and it's a male condition in which overintoxication and or malnourishment is the proximate cause of erectile dysfunction. <laughs> now, I... Th- thank you very much, and I, I love hearing your dulcet tones, and thank you, um, this is the first time we've had her on the show, and hopefully we can have her on, uh, you know, many times hereafter, but um, uh, we're very thankful that she could um, educate us. Now, with Brewer's Droop, I don't know enough about Jabba's actual <laughs> physical performance capabilities, it's more but I, I think it's more, yeah. exactly, I think so it's more meta, uh, metaphorical in that. <laughs> There's been times when he's all gung-ho about being on the show, and then he'll get a 40 ounce of Milwaukee's <laughs> best, and then he's just not around for the next couple hours. And he's like, oh, I can't come by. I got to do some stuff. And not we know it's because he I'm got plastic jug malt liquor or whatever it is. He'll even really just come over and hang and out think, with us, man. He's yeah, like, just come over. No, no, I, got, I, got man, got, I, guys, I got Brewer's Droop. You guys, I got Brewer's Droop. I got Brewer's Droop. I can't perform. <laughs> So I, I think that's a that's an incredibly accurate word. I that's love a very it. good description of I love uh, this gentleman. I'm just gonna call him Brewer from now on. Sorry, Jabba, if you don't show up on the show, it's just gonna keep on coming. It's buddy. gonna keep happening, dude. Um, what else is going on? Do we have any plugs? Um, not really. Uh, uh yeah, we do. What do we have? Um, December twentieth, we're playing. Uh, we have our live show. Um, at uh, Cape Fear Community College, and um, tickets are on sale right now at supermagicshow.com. Um, <laughs> so if you go there, you can you can definitely uh, pre-order them or get it for like five bucks more at the door. But we're gonna be playing live there, and I gotta tell you this: I'm excited about it. If I'm in town, I'm going. I'll be there. I'll show up if I'm in town that day. I might not be in the building, but. I'll try. Well, no, I, I, I'm, I'm traveling that day, I think. Well, no, I'm, I'm getting in town. Like, I'm flying in to Wilmington. Oh, right. Oh, on. and I have an idea. Oh, no, here's another thing. And I'm actually, I'm literally going to give you my real address because I think this is what I, I, <laughs> I pray to God that you send me this. Okay, I'm, I'm flying and um, I want to get stopped at security. Like, I, I, I want to act all fidgety when I'm going through airport security so that, like, I'm going to intentionally try to get stopped and have them inspect my bags. And so if anyone can send um, the most vile, despicable, um, like, marital aids and gay porn and, like, like uh, empty, like, pill containers and things, <laughs> send them to... No, I, and I swear to you, this is my real dress. 18... 18- <laughs> Avenue, Wilmington, North Carolina, 28403. Send them to me and send them to uh, whatever. Landon, Obi, Super Magic Show Show. I want them because here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go through airport security. I'm going to have my bag packed. And I just feel like I want to take the power back. I want to get <laughs> revenge on these airport security dudes, these um, homeland security asses who like never even finished high school and now they're getting paid, like they get minimum wage and a badge and they think they're better than you and blah, blah, blah. They treat you like dirt. <laughs> I'm gonna, gonna get revenge on them. If they wanna bust me and pull me over and there's like a grandmother and a little girl right behind me, I wanna open up that, I want them to open up the bag and see the most despicable stuff out in my like l- like uh, luggage. <laughs> I want them to see like hardcore gay porn, dildos, um, <laughs> Enemas, like I want them to see the Enemas. worst stuff, and Ugh. have and, and like I, I didn't ask you to search my bag. If you want to do it, be prepared for what you <laughs> very well might see. And I want all this stuff to be legal, but I don't have the nerve to actually go to the store and buy these items. So please send them to me, Can and I'll, I'll, I'll like, pay you back. Or when, something. when you're on the front page of the the Wilmington Star News, <laughs> you got to be giving the thumbs up, man. With a picture of you with a bunch of no, vibrators. That's, that's, the, the, that's the point. I'm not gonna get busted. I, I I'm only gonna go into the airport with legal things that. I'm I'm allowed to have but i just want them to be so repulsive and, and <laughs> put that poor person through the the humiliation of having to watch that because look i'm not going to be humiliated i don't care i wish i could be there to take a picture that'd be great you can all right give me the time I'll so pick you so up send that to us is there is there anything else that we have to plug or advertise um no nope, i'm actually just going to play an old song from a good buddy robert kramer hope you're doing good buddy gonna thank play, you robert uh, kramer you big always man. good stuff big man is the best song in the world um, um, well, thank you for listening to episode <laughs> one of season three. We're all about health and Pilates. Or our show is all about health and Pilates, but what are we all about? Mugsy, Mugsy Bogues. Bogues. Thank you. Bye. Be a thick man, so you're gonna have to think, man. I don't know.
I just wanna do